<laughs> While it's impossible to uh, know which one of these viruses you have without testing for sure, there are some distinctive symptoms for each virus. So the most distinctive symptom that some children infected with RSV will exhibit is wheezing. Wheezing is a high-pitched sound with each exhalation. RSV is a virus that probably every one of your listeners has had before in their lifetime, and it, it generally just causes cold symptoms for adults. Um, and it's if you think back to that cold that you got that just wouldn't go away, you kept having congestion and perhaps a cough that lasted longer than usual, there's a decent chance that that was RSV. Um, and uh, again, for most people, and even most kids, RSV doesn't cause a dangerous illness, um, but it does in a subset of kids. Even kids with significant illness that require hospitalization are usually going to do just fine. Uh, maybe they'll need a little bit of oxygen. Maybe they just need to be watched closely. Um, for the most part, kids get over RSV bronchiolitis just fine. The most distinctive sign of the flu can be a very high fever, um, fevers in the 103 to 104 range. Um, it's important to note that even really high fevers are not dangerous for people, whether they be adults or kids. Um, fever is just the body's way of fighting the infection, and it's not dangerous in and of itself. Symptoms of flu can include fever, chills, headache, runny nose or congestion, nausea, fatigue, loss of appetite, and sore throat. One difference um, between COVID-19 and RSV and flu is that COVID-19 can sometimes affect other areas of the body outside the lungs, and in some instances can cause long-term effects. Symptoms of COVID-19 can include cough, brief fever, shortness of breath, abdominal pain, loss of taste or smell, runny nose or congestion, fatigue, sore throat, nausea and or vomiting, diarrhea, muscle or body aches, and headache. 